want to say thanks especially to Stefan Weber for the use for the second year in a row of this fantastic space. I'd also like to thank Anna Echohoff, who was oh, right here, mm -hmm. and Farana for putting together the Ramadan nights. The definition for Natalie Handel's poetry is that she defies definition in many different ways. Uh, she, born, in, uh, born in Haiti of Palestinian descent, Natalie Handel has lived on four different continents and in many different linguistic, uh, cultural, and religious spaces. And her poetry is about this act of border crossing. Her poetry moves from English to Spanish to French to Arabic and back into English. And what I find amazing is that when we read this poetry, we do this border crossing with her. And even if some of us, including myself, don't know all of these languages, what is amazing to me is that it doesn't seem strange anymore. You know, the languages blend into each other. Uh, and this is really a perfect space of translation that she creates. Um, and I think what her work does is that it asks us to redefine the categories which we use to identify people. I will start the evening uh, in, in dedication of a poem for Mahmoud Darwish, uh, which I'm sure most of you know, or I hope you know. He was a, a great Palestinian poet who died two years ago in Texas, actually and uh, a great Middle Eastern poet. And I met him in my early 20s um, in Paris. And this is, I'd like to start the evening uh, dedicating this poem to him. It's called Une Fois Paris. At the door you greet me, a vin de verre rouge. I look at the shadows that might have followed us, look for the wall behind us, in front of us. We sit at un quiz between us. It's midnight or it's late, it's morning or it's day. Silence has torn our voices. Paris is cold. The dark begins early, Place des Etats-Unis. Trees losing leaves, a bird with wings growing in our hands. A desire, the echo of a gunshot, a river. The bullet that crossed Cervantes, you say, I respond. I remember. We left his book in yesterday's dream. Can we go back or has prison come to us? Who are we if the earth is trapped in an unsigned painting? Where are your eyes, passion, palm, breath? Only Paris allows us to believe in such metaphors. We envy those who walk past by us so easily. They sleep in their beds as we look for hours. Home is farther than us, orange blossoms, olives, and coffee. I fall to catch you, you help me to my fall, one cigarette at a time. You say they always find us one village at a time. They say it's our house now, but here's a room, even if you don't deserve one. You say, listen to Beethoven, and I follow your eyes to understand the shadows in the crowd, a homeland, an absent mother. Did they forget we can love? Ave Maria is playing. You give me a poem about a girl you loved. The windows feeling with evening, with wound. Wound filled with echo, echo filled with cry. I move closer to you. I wish I could sleep in the place that sleeps deep in your hand. I wish I held your mother's hand, my father's hand. I wish I saw Carmel from your eyes. The girl you kissed, 60, 60 winters, summers, raindrops piling in our prayers, in the footsteps we are forbidden to have. The birds are coming today, you tell me. The land is smaller than the land, smaller, still smaller than our movements. I call your name and you answer, death. You have beaten death at its game. The freedom that took you takes you and I find the colors of a faded map. You never say farewell, never cross, just cross. We meet death so it doesn't meet us. We close the door, think of the groves, the verses we will write, the letters we will not send. Insha'Allah, you say, a bientôt. Insha'Allah, I say, the land speaks Arabic. <laughs>